Hi, this is Mark Snyder with Worship Song Band, and I'm going to give you a quick demo of a new capability that we've added to uh, enhance the lyric display with something we call overlays. Um, so there are a couple of overlays here um, that are, uh, there's one shown on the screen now. Um, so basically what they are is um, like this, this, this text in the corner here um, with the CCLI number, um, this countdown timer at the top middle, and this thing in the middle here, which is a um, an overlaying the the lyric background. Um, so if I if I if I pick like a different lyric background here, you'll see that the overlays um, just go on top of them. So it's on top of that um, whatever lyric background or video you want. Um, they're just they're just like additional. So I'll stick with that blue one to kind of show you what they do. Um, anyways, I go along the song timeline here, you'll see they're programmed to come up at certain times and, uh, they can have these images attached to them. Um, and then I'm um, also like this, the countdown timer at the top is actually an overlay as well. Um, so if I hit, if I hit play here, for instance, you'll see that they go along with the song timeline. Intro. So you see the countdown timer is counting down and I'll show you how to set these up. They're, they're fairly simple to set up. So at that time I went to a second one and I, I popped up a different overlay there. And there's another one. These are just examples. Verse. Now what you're seeing is just the regular lyric display text. So I didn't change anything with that. And then one popped up there for a second and then went down. Um, so that's what they do. Um, I think they look pretty good. And let I'll sh now show you a little bit about how they're set up so you get an idea. Um, all of this file format that I'm gonna show you is gonna be documented on the file format page of the website and also there'll be um, an example that I'll uh, put into the free samples that will have like a one of each kind of thing so you can download that and take a look at how to do these. Um, but the, the basic way that these are set up is uh, like most everything else using the uh, tracks.txt uh, file capability. Um, and we didn't really have to build up an editor. We can just use like a markup language to do it. Um, so this is so this is an example. I'll just take these one at a time and you can look at it. There can be um, uh, any, well, actually up to like 36 overlays in one song. So you, um, that's total. So, you know, that um, like unique ones. So hopefully you'll never exceed that. Um, but anyway, um, uh, an overlay just has a tag like this, overlay and overlay. Um, it can just, it doesn't have to have any text. Uh, it could be an image. If it's an image, then this image file here needs to be in the zip file with the song, which is like the, the background list that have been in there for a while. This is the same. You just stick the image file in your song and then you can call it out like this and put it on the screen with one of these. Um, the images are JPEG, uh, bitmap, PNG, Targa, and, and they can be transparent. Like this particular one here is actually a, this transparent circular thing you see in the corner here. Um, the location of the image, basically they can be um, top, top left, top right, top center, bottom left, bottom right, bottom center, um, or center. Um, and so basically, any of the corners, top and bottom, or or the the middle of the screen, and, and um, all of their size in is is entirely determined by this, like the scale of the image or the text. So you don't actually say this x y or anything. You just say that corner, and then you give it um, the text you want and the scale you want, or an image, and then it's sized appropriately. Um, so that's a simple one. This is more complex. You can see here, this has got several lines of text. Um, so the way the text works is 
you have the, the text, and then you have a delimiter, and then you can have these options on the text that apply to that line and all following lines until you change it. So basically, um, this says that I'm using scale 0 0.09 for the text, um, for the scale of, of the text. It's justified at the left side of the box that the overlay goes in, and it's using this Roboto font. Um, I've added uh, like four fonts that I think look good for verse display, which you can use or not use, whatever. They're, they're, um, uh, all the fonts you can use are listed in the Lyric pop-up now. So any of the ones that list there are the ones that you can pick and you can try them out. Um, anyway, so this is four lines of text. And then this last line is this John 316 down in the corner here. And it is uh, um, scaled smaller. It's right justified instead of left. It has a different color. This is a yellow color and it uses a different font. So basically that's that lets you switch fonts or scales or justification in the middle of the text and you know do something like I've done here where I've got the uh, the name in italics down below. Um, the other things in this tag are that this is located in the center of the screen. Um, the start time is zero beats. The end time is 24 beats. The box color is um, half transparent black. So um, you'd see the background through this. And the image file is this crosstop.png. Um, um, the countdown timer is just a, another overlay, except it uses this special block called countdown timer. If you put that in, it will use the time remaining in whatever song it's in and display that. So you could set up a song in your set list with like your beginning opera music and then use a countdown timer and then this will display a countdown timer for you if you do it that way. Um, the rest of these are all just kind of variations on it. Um, the only the only um, one thing I will add is that um, the overlays don't have to have a name, but if they do have a name like this, then um, any overlay that has a name, you will be able to select that overlay uh, with a section action. Um, so as an example here, um, let me hide the lyric display. Put it in preview mode there. If you look at the section actions here, I've got a section action of show overlay named CCLI, eight beats after start, and hide overlay named CCLI, 16 beats after start. So this would just let me call up that overlay whenever I want it in the song. Um, you don't have to use a section action. You can just use the times um, if, if it's always going to be the same time. But it does give you the ability, like if you want it to keep popping one up at different times or whatever, you can do it with the, the section action menus. Only overlays that have names in here will be will be shown in the list. So if you don't give it a name, you won't be able to control it uh, with a section action. Um, so like I said, I added uh, um, I added uh, a few more fonts to the lyrics here. Um, these are free fonts I found from Google Fonts, the Plex font and the Roboto font. Those are basically um, slab serif fonts that I thought lo would look good for Bible verses. Um, and then all the other fonts that you have before. So those are the ones we've added. Um, and um, this is a totally optional capability. If you don't use it, then you don't. But if you did want to do CCLI or, you know, Bible verses or anything like that, then uh, this should provide you some capability to do that. Um, this is uh, only being released on the Mac and PC versions right now because um, I'm imagining only people doing Lyric displays are really using those two. Um, it, it, uh, I, I don't think it has any impact on the mobile version, so um, we won't. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be part of the next major release of the mobile versions. Um, and, and we're calling the, this release version 8.5. So uh, when you see that, you'll be able to download it and um, enjoy the capability.